Okay, my new drums have arrived. There they are, waiting to go inside. I have to clean up inside first. Let's have a look and see what I have to move. Okay, there's the drums. I have to get them out. I'm giving them to my grandson. Then I'll tidy up the area, give it a quick vacuum and start bringing in the other one. Okay, there's where they're going to go. Old drums have been removed. Keep an eye on this space. All right, here they are in the house. Oscar wants to help me. Let's see what they look like when I get everything out. Oh, I forgot to say what they are. They are Elisus Strike Pro Special Edition. Very flash. All right, here we go. Let's take them apart. So this box contains just the bass drum. All right, this box. I'll go through what they look like up close later. Let's see what's in here. Everything's nicely packed. I'll get them all out of the boxes and we'll have a look. All right, here's all the bits. I've taken everything out of all the packets and the boxes. Lots and lots of bits to put together. There's all the drums. That's the rack that everything goes on. Have a go at the cool bass. And here's all the cymbals. Over there, lots of cymbals, lots of bits. That's the brains. That's what will make all the sounds that we will hear later. Have a go at all the leads I have to put together or we'll connect up. Have a go at the quality of this thing. Look how cool that is. Very flash. They're all like that. Each drum. They all look very flash, the nice gold. Drum tensioners, skin tensioners. Underneath even looks pretty cool too, look at that. And they've all got a lovely mesh head that they're famous for. But yes, there it is. Let's see what it looks like when it's put together. Okay, there's the frame set up. I'll move it around depending on how everything fits. It's a bit bigger than my last drum set. So we'll see how we go. All right, all the clamps and everything are on. It's all ready now to start putting the drums on. So here we go. All right, the drums are on. Might have to move them about because there's no room for me to get in there. But we'll see. Looking good. And bass drum now on. Now it looks like a drum set. All right, cymbals on, bass drum in place, drums in place, or well, not really in place. They're just on. I now have to put them in their right spot. But first, I need to put the hi-hat and the snare together.
All right, I've got everything almost together now. I've got the symbols in that roughly where I think they'll be, seeing that I've got an extra one now than my last set. And I've got an extra Tom now, that one as well, from my last set. But if we go around, we can see lots of drums, lots of cymbals. This new hi-hat, snare, all the drums. All I need to do now is just put the bass pedal on, plug in the box that's over there, connect it all up and see how it sounds. He's hoping. Okay, that's the beaters on now. The hi-hat set up. I've got the box on and I've got all the drums pretty much where I think I'll need them. I'll just bring my chair in now because those cymbals look too high for me. They're way too up. If I'm sitting down here somewhere, for my style, they're too high. So I'll bring my chair in and fix them up. Okay, that's about as close to the final position as it's going to get for the time being. So now I'm going to wire everything up and see how it sounds. Here's all the leads I have to plug in. So wish me luck. Alrighty, as you can see, my new kit's set up. Um, I've been playing around with it for most of the day, as you could probably imagine. And other than actual drum kits, I've found this one kit that makes noises rather than drum sounds, or they're sort of a bit of both. That when you hit it, it makes a really weird noise. But when you put it all together and make a tune, it sounds really cool. Have a listen. that I haven't played any songs yet but I haven't had a chance I've been having too much fun with that but stay tuned all right here's one more this is the last one but I think this one's even better than the first one I showed you just turn it up a bit so it records a bit better ready this one's number 96, if you ever want to come around and have a listen. All right, I've had my drums now for a number of weeks and as you could probably imagine, I've been making minor adjustments as we've gone along. One of the biggest ones that I've done is I've had to move the whole right hand side and in front of me around so that I could reach this drum over here is the floor tom and it was right against the wall and it was hurting my back when I was going around doing a drum roll. So I've had to move, I had to redo the whole stand 
this long arm there used to be over here and that short one was there so I've swapped them around so I've now got three of the toms directly in front of where I sit and just one tom over there so that I can reach that I've also moved the two symbols here this was the this is the ride it was sitting over there and the crash was there so I've swapped those two around as well to make them a bit easier to play all up so that's how it all looks from where I sit over here's the brains there's the module that's my iPad with all my music on it it's plugged into the module so I can play to everything and record everything which is what I intend to do next so there you have it oh and one last thing you can see that dot there on the skin of the bass drum or the kick drum depending on where you learn it from that dot is actually where that drum has melted yes that's right it has melted i had a wooden beater on it previously and this face of the beater when it hit the skin it got that hot that it literally melted the mesh head of the bass or kick drum so as you can see i've now replaced the wooden one and got two felt kick beaters so hopefully i don't get any more damage to my kick drum